It is Friday, May 10, 2013, 2 47 a.m. Pacific Time, and this is early morning pink again. Got another story for you about the bees. Remember the bees, folks? Yeah. One third of U.S. honeybee colonies died last winter, threatening the food supply. And why is this not a surprise? This is by Brandon Keim. BeInformed.org. It's dated May 9, 2013. Yeah, bees are very, very important to the food chain. Nearly one in three commercial honeybee colonies in the U.S. died or disappeared last winter, an unsustainable decline that threatens the nation's food supply. And this is by Jennifer C. of Flickr. Multiple factors, pesticides, fungicides, parasites, viruses, and malnutrition are believed to cause the losses which were officially announced today by a consortium of academic researchers, beekeepers, and Department of Agriculture scientists. We're getting closer and closer to the point where we don't have enough bees in this country to meet pollination demands said entomologist Dennis Van Engelstorp of the University of Maryland, who led the survey documenting the declines. This is serious. If we don't get our bees back, folks, we're going to have robo-bees. Remember the robo-bees? Ooh. Beekeepers lost 31% of their colonies in late 2012 and early 2013, roughly double what's considered acceptable attrition through natural causes. The losses are in keeping with rates documented since 2006 when beekeeper concerns prompted the first nationwide study of honeybee health. Hopes raised by drop in rates of loss to 22% in 2011-2012 were wiped out by the new numbers. And here's a chart. Manage honeybee colony losses in the U.S. Honeybee colony losses over the last seven years. And this is copyrighted Inglestorp, etc. The honeybee shortage nearly came to a head in March in California when there were barely enough bees to pollinate the almond crop. Oh, serious. Had the weather not been ideal, the almonds would have gone unpollinated, a taste, as it were, of a future in which honeybee problems are not solved. If we want to grow fruits and nuts and berries, this is important, said Van Engelstorp. One in every three bites of food consumed in the U.S. is directly or indirectly pollinated by bees. Scientists have raced to explain the losses which fall into different categories. Some result from what's called colony collapse disorder, a malady first reported in 2006 in which honeybees abandon their hives and vanish. Colony Collapse Disorder, or CCD, subsequently became a public shorthand for describing bee calamities. Most losses reported in the latest survey, however, don't actually fit the CCD profile. And though CCD is largely undocumented in Western Europe, honeybee losses there have also been dramatic. In fact, CCD seems to be declining, even as total losses mount. The honeybees are simply dying. Tragic. Even if CCD went away, we'd still have tremendous losses, said entomologist Diana Cox Foster at Pennsylvania State University. CCD losses are like the straw that breaks the camel's back. The system has many other issues. Studying these issues isn't easy. In real-world agricultural settings, it's hard to run the rigorous, every last variable controlled experiments on which def definitive conclusions are founded. These experiments can be run in labs in small-scale test fields, 
but whether they actually reflect real-world complexity is debated. Okay, and it goes on from there. I'm going to have to stop right there, but oh my goodness, folks. The honeybees are dying. They're dying. Oh, this is, this is depressing, I know, but what are we going to do about this? We've got to do something. I don't know what, but we've got to do something. I saw some honeybees outside my, uh, you know, around my buzzing around my tree, and I was, I was thinking of these bees and how important they are. I never thought about it before like this. Uh, I'm sure you all have that same awareness now of how very incredibly important these tiny creatures are to our survival. Yeah, just not for the honey, folks. It's, it's our insect world that continue the, the nature balance, the food balance, everything. They do an important job and it's our job to protect them so that they don't die off. But the chemtrails are not helping at all. We've got to find the source of this problem and nip it in the bud. All right. And that's going to do it for this report. Thanks for watching. Take care. Pink out.